Okay. I'm going to start my a video about my love for vinyl, how it all got started, and <clears throat> um, way back in 2006, I really started listening to records and was just curious as to what you know records looked like and what they sounded like. I believe I was working at the time. I don't remember, but it was a win that winter of 2006. Um, pretty close to Christmas, actually. Anyways, so I went into my parents' garage and put out these two records not these particular records but the doors la woman and a copy of the doors uh uh self-titled album these are not those pressings that these are both 1977 pressings or late 70s represses i think what my dad had were probably older pressings and maybe not originals but darn close to it but um, so I listened to these, and initially I was turned off by the pops and clicks and stuff, you know, caused by dust and damage to the records. And I decided, well, I'll just buy CDs, and I did there for a while. But before I had money for even CDs, I was always looking for uh, just getting MP3s, that, you know, through different channels. Uh, I'll just say that. Um, and. I decided, well, these don't sound very good. How can I get the best quality, you know, MP3? So I would seek out the best quality MP3 at 320 kilobits, if I could get it. Um, and this went on and on, and finally I got my second job and had money to buy CDs again. And I started buying records as well. Uh, and I didn't really start lis actually listening to the sound quality and wanting to get the best, you know sound reproduction uh, equipment that I could afford as far as headphones and receivers uh, and players uh, but initially when I started listening to CDs I didn't listen for all that you know uh, how far up mu uh, certain instruments were in the mixes of these albums and whatnot and I'd be curious as to hear a different mix and they'd release it or a fan would release their own mix of a certain album and sometimes fans would be able to improve upon an album uh, and the way it sounded or even a handful of albums you know two or three so uh, finally uh, here in the past three or four years I have really started listening to the sound quality of a recording seeking out the best that I possibly can on vinyl and CD and even flat files or I may venture into the high resolution audio that's being um, put out there by Acoustic Sounds website and um, other different websites that have albums in high, uh, super high quality um, digital formats. So I'll venture into that and see how that goes. I mean, I don't have the proper playback equipment for that, so I'm not going to hear much of a difference probably. But, uh, yeah, I mean, my love for vinyl probably will stay. And now that I have the money for high-quality pressings, I have, you know, four or five pressings put out by Classic Records on 200-gram vinyl, uh, at least five that I can remember of. Um, and now I've bought an Analog Productions pressing of a certain album, which that's still under the Quality Records made in the quality records pressing plant um, which brings me to my next and the lights probably gonna go way down here for a second I see when it change hue brings me to my next thing which I've been watching for the past almost 45 minutes um, this is acoustic sounds office tour with Chad Kassam which is the owner but this is recorded by Steve Roslin I guess and this is his channel he also does it gives us a tour. Let me readjust the light here. Uh, there we go. Um, but he gives us a tour of the whole facility, uh, the quality records pressing plant. He gives us a tour of that in a separate video, and gives us 18 minutes of just goodness, showing us how um, uh, they're actually pressing the Cat Stevens T for the Tillman at that certain time, and they're listening to a test pressing 
out there on the floor is just amazing. I mean, or a, uh, they listen to the first two actual records that come off the press uh, that aren't even, that are actually, uh, I guess, Gray, which is Clarity, their Clarity line of records, maybe? I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, and this guy even has another video, or there's another video called Acoustic Sound Disc Catalog. I guess that's showing us their catalog that they have there of stuff. Um, they even have a whole bunch of masters in there, uh, metal parts for the records, you know, the mothers and whatnot, that they have over a million dollars of that in the facility, just ready to go if they need to repress anything. Um, but this Chad guy seems like a really nice guy, very informative, knows a lot about stuff. He has his own collection of record players, uh, different record memorabilia, um, not, not as far as actual vinyl goes that he shows anyways. Um, but, uh, I think from here on out, my love for vinyl can only grow. Um, I'm done with buying Doors albums, that's for sure, because they're getting pretty pricey. I mean, the whole hobby is getting very pricey. Uh, I may collect some more, I mean, I'll continue collecting as the years go by. I'm not going to stop anytime soon. But, um, uh, just wanted to share my love for vinyl, really. Um, this thing's going haywire on the faces. It's recognized in the faces. Um, so yeah, make a video on how you started listening to the vinyl records. I think I talked about this previously, but I never made an actual dedicated video that I know of. Um, Yeah, this all started with The Doors, I think. I started buying their records. These are the, some of the first records I bought that I can think of. Um, and then I went, of course, buying other stuff. You know, the Pink Floyds and all that. But, uh, yeah, that does it for this video, guys. Just share your love for records. How did you start listening to records? When and what was your reason for it? Uh, so... Um, if I have any more information I want to share on this subject, I will just put it in the description. So, uh, go ahead and like this video, comment, and rate. Thanks again for watching.